Today we will take a look at what is a privileged account. A user account authorized more privileges than the ordinary user account is called privileged account. If you can install or remove software from your operating system or can upgrade or modify your application on the computer that you are using, you have a privileged account. These privileged accounts can be categorized into two types. One, interactive account, which is used by the human. You will be entering the username and password. Second one is a non-interactive account, which there'll be no human interference will take place. Mostly these accounts are called service accounts. We will see what are the type of privileged accounts we had to take care of. Number one, domain admin accounts. If you have an Active Directory environment in your company, if you have an account that part of the domain administrators group, it means you have the God of privileged account. Any account that part of the domain administrators account will be able to perform the highest task possible on any of the computers that part of Active Directory environment. Domain service accounts. These service accounts are used for backup solutions or analytical solutions or software development or security patch updates. These service accounts will have access to every single computer that joined to the Active Directory environment. Local administrator account. Every single operating system, it could be Windows or Linux that comes with the local administrator, super user account, which is called local administrator. It could be SU or root or administrator. These accounts can perform highest possible task on, your, on that particular operating system. Emergency accounts. These accounts called break the glass account. Normally these accounts are kept disabled and will be only enabled when the environment hit with the emergency situation, so attack. Sometimes we enable the account, but we forget to disable them. If anybody get hold of these highly privileged accounts, our environment can be under the attack. Local service account. These service accounts are locally created, run to install the applications. These local service accounts passwords are never touched or never allowed to change because this keep on running it for the operating system. These accounts are needed to make sure the applications or the operating system to perform. Applications accounts. Some applications and databases and network devices are needed application accounts to perform their work. Some application accounts are used to perform the automated task. Data user accounts. These data user accounts are not privileged users in the operating system, but they will have access to the data in your company like SQL or analytical data. We all working to protect the data. If this data user account can be accessed by the attacker, it could end up the company in a big trouble. SSH key or secret. These accounts are used for the automated the APIs to integrate the dissimilar systems or different environment communication. If anybody get hold of these API keys or SSH keys, will be able to access the dissimilar systems and cross the platform. In recent times, the API key attacks are increased to access more data than a single operating system access. Wi-Fi accounts. If anybody can get hold of your home or your company's Wi-Fi shared key phrase, they will be able to reach your network easier and will be able to do the reconnaissance to understand your network. 
hardware accounts such as BIOS passwords. Anybody can get hold of. They will be able to change the boot sequence or other parameters to access the data that stored on that particular system. Switches and firewall accounts. These infrastructure devices are core to our security. If anybody can get hold of these accounts to access your switches or firewall, they will be able to reshape your traffic and will be able to access the network and data. Never use the telnet and the default username and password has to be changed as soon as the device is connected to the network and try to use the stronger password possible. Storage user account. Every storage that we have carries company's data. If anybody get hold of this storage, username and password will be able to access your company data easier than any other way around. The default username and password that the storage has come has to be changed. Stronger password has to be applied. Hypervisor systems. These hypervisor systems can store hundreds of virtual servers. ESXIs or Hyper-V or Zen servers username and password has to be secured as much as possible. Last not the least, Endpoint Management SIM Tool Administrator Accounts. If anybody can get hold of your Endpoint Management, they can disable the antivirus or any other security protection and easy to install, move forward, elevate their attack in an easier way. SIM Tools carries all the log of your system give more data about your environment and make the threat actor's life easier to get what he wanted to achieve. These are the type of privileged accounts. Let's see how we can reduce the attack using the privileged accounts. Number one, tracking the accounts. Keep the track of assets and service account and privileged accounts. Number two, clean up. Clean up the inactive or unused accounts. Remove it from the Active Directory or your own operating system. Least privileged usage. Least privileged or zero trust policy has to be applied and also the best practice will be implement the PAM solutions. Next one, definitely we had to do the monitoring, regular monitoring and user account activity auditing has to be performed on daily basis. Policies. Set up formal policies to control access to the privileged accounts and implement the multi-factor authentication. Privileged accounts are the golden keys to the kingdom. So we had to do everything possible to keep it protected. Thank you.